Hey guys and welcome. This video is on the plugin Villager Shops. It's a really easy plugin to set up Villager Shops. And I've set a few up already, but I will run you through it. So this is what a villager shop looks like when you right click on it. So I've got all the meat set up here. You can only buy from this shop, you can't sell from it. And this one you can buy and sell from. So as you can see the armor you can buy it for 500 or sell it to the shop for 100. So as you can see when I buy it or sell it it tells me the balance that's left and then I've got ones over here where you've got logs so for instance you can change the size so for instance I can buy one for one 32 for 32 or when I sell it back it costs a lot less so obviously you just have to set it up the way you want to do it and then sticks the same again so you can just create loads of different shops to sell your items so to create a shop all you have to do is stand in here or stand wherever you want the shop to be type in slash shop create then you can either leave it blank just to create a normal villager or a profession type so for instance you could type in butcher farmer uh, priest there's about five of them I think but I'll do farmer and then the name of it afterwards so I'm just gonna call this guy block so as you can see block so he's been created, he's going to sell blocks. So then the first command is you want to add something. So you do shop add the item name. So I want to sell a coal block. And I want to sell one of these. And then you want to put the price you want the player to be able to buy it for. So I want them to buy it for 50 and sell it for 10. And then you walk up to the villager and then as you can see added to shop. So now you can buy it for 50 and sell it for 10. You can also do it by having the item in your actual inventory. So for instance, get this out, hover over it, type in slash shop, add, and then hand. So this will be the item in hand, whoops, hand. Buy price and sell price, just like before. So 30, 10. Just make sure you're standing on the villager when you do it. So as you can see, it's added 64 and it's added the prices so then if I decided I didn't actually want that item all I'd do is slash shop remove then the item name so what um, which one do I add first cold block and then you can see it's been removed completely from the shop so then the other thing is obviously I, if I wanted to delete the shop, so that's just shop delete. And you can see he died as well, but he's come back because it didn't actually want him to die. So as you can see, it deletes the one that you do want. And that's basically it. It's really easy to set up. It's really easy to get working. As you can see, it works really effectively. I really like it. It definitely works really well. So sell them, buy them, sell them. And you can also set it up where you can just buy it. So as you can see, you can only buy this, you can't sell it. Or you can only sell it and you can't buy it. So I can sell fence panels, but I can't buy them. So I think there's endless opportunities to add this plugin to your server. I mean, it'd take a little while to set up, but I do think it'd be really cool for players once it is set up. There'll be a download link to it in the description below. And as always, guys, please remember to rate, subscribe, and comment. Cheers.